Hello everyone, welcome. Dominic here from Five Models. And this is the start of a brand new build series, um, which is new for me, new venture for me. For this one, we're going to be building Revels 125 Peterbilt 359. And to go along with that, we are also, I say we, I say I, we're also going to be adding Italeri's timber trailer to go with it. Now, for those of you that know these kits, the first thing you'll probably notice is they're different scales. The tractor is 125 and the trailer is 124. Um, now, having done this before with a tractor that was 124 and a trailer that was 125, it's not really noticeable. So I'm hoping that that's going to be the same with this. With the tractor, um, it's a rebel kit. It doesn't quite have the panache that the Italeri truck kits have. Um, the quality isn't quite to the same level, but it's still a nice enough kit and should build into quite a nice model. I've yet to decide what I'm going to do about the chrome plated parts because they're horrendous as is usually the case with chrome plated parts. I absolutely hate them. Um, the exhaust and the air intakes not too much of a problem. I could probably redo those either in Molotov or in the Guild Chrome, which is quite a nice paint. It does make them difficult to handle. Um, the wheel rims I'll leave in the plated plastic, the plated chrome plastic, because they're fine. The rear mudguards, um, I'm going to be doing a custom colour scheme on this, so I'll probably do those a different colour anyway, which will mean stripping them and priming them, repainting them. Overall colour, I'm going for Tamiya's Mica Red because it's a lovely paint, it goes over a silver base um, and it's an absolutely gorgeous colour and you, you can vary the depth and tone of it as well quite a lot. So that's basically it for the introduction. Um, I won't do an unboxing for this kit because it's not really needed. So I will point out any problems as I come across them, just so that uh, you're aware and any solutions that I come up with, or whether I just choose to ignore them and muddle through, which is probably what I end up doing. I've got pretty good at disguising issues with paint and clever photography. So I've no doubt that that will be coming into force at some point during this build, especially with the chrome plated parts. Not looking forward to those at all. So when I come back, I will start, as I start with any vehicle, I always start with the bodywork first. The reason for that is I plan on using a 2K clear coat and it means that the clear coat can have plenty of time to cure while I work on the other parts of the kit so that when I do need to come to, to handle them, they'll be fully cured and I'm not going to cause any damage to them. So I hope you enjoy and we'll get started shortly. Thank you. 